So I'm creating this video in hopes that it will help future classes. To start, we're gonna go over the pieces that we need for the CDCA exam. So this is the Maji Pro. Here at Roseman University, we were provided with the Maji Pro with a endo insert, which where we mounted the teeth in PBS. If you want one specific to the exam, you're gonna have to purchase the endo insert for the CDCA exam or for the Maji Pro. And it will look like this. It'll have inserts for the prost on three, five, and nine. And it'll have inserts for the endo on eight and 14. When purchasing all of these things, you wanna make sure you have enough teeth for practice, a good recommendation is three to four of each. This is what the 14 endo looks like unprepped. This is what eight endo looks like unprepped. And here is an example of cross teeth that you can purchase. The endo pieces are much more expensive. I can't really remember correctly, but probably around 13 to $16 each. The pros are much cheaper, and they're about $1.50 each. Most of the time, you can get away with just buying three, five, and nine. You may wanna buy additional teeth on either side of three, five, and nine. That way you can make sure that when you do nick the tooth, you can tell. So, these inserts will just pop out just like this in order to change your endo insert. You'll just take a you know, sharp pointy object, push right here at the base, and it'll push right out. Then you can take your new one, pop it in, place it back on your type it on. Obviously, um, number eight, you're just gonna unscrew. When you look at number eight, you'll see, you'll often see a little mark where that screw lands. Since this is a new one, you're not gonna see it. So this will get you covered for the first day or the endo prost portion of the exam. The second insert you need to purchase is the restorative type of dot. It'll mount just the same. It has screws so that you can change out the teeth. As of 2022, I believe the current teeth that are possible are 7, 8, 9, 10, mesial or distal, 19, 20, 29, 30, and those can be MOs or DOs. Uh, when I took the exam, the occlusal surface did have caries that kind of went significantly deep, at least three millimeters. And as of the time I was taking the exam, three millimeters was the maximum depth that you could prep the pulpal for. So just be ready for for carries to go deep on these teeth. I do know that some people had to do indirect pulp caps.